Do you want one? And welcome everyone. Adrian Webb, tournament director, was giving us a hard time right behind us. And uh, hope you're enjoying the coverage here in Racquetball Canada. We certainly have enjoyed giving it to you. Uh, Mitch Braley is joining me for this match. It is potentially a gold medal match. It's round robin with women, and it's not single elimination, and it's Lambert, and it is Morissette. They'll be facing each other tomorrow in the finals of singles, but they have a chance now. If they win this match, they claim gold. Parents, they're the defending champions, the one seeds. They've lost a couple, but it comes down to head to head with round robin, so there's a lot at stake still for, for Marjot and Juliette Parent. Yeah, no, it's it's a it's, it's a huge match. Uh, I think Lambert and Morissette have looked pretty sharp this week from from what I've seen. I haven't seen a ton of them play, but well, uh, the there's a reason they're have. both in the final of singles. Exactly. So obviously both playing very well. Uh, the Parents had a, a bit of a I'll say surprise loss to uh, Cassie Prentice. I think it's and fair to Disney say it was a surprise loss. Yeah. One seed, but in, in, in three straight was uh, mm. was very shocking, mm. especially so. Uh, you know, maybe a little bit shaky here this week, and not quite as sharp as they'd hoped for on the double side of things. Uh, and singles too. I mean, Juliette Parent lost earlier today to Morissette three did. straight. Yeah, and uh, and so from from that perspective, I go, hmm, I wonder if it's because it's home court, pressure of family and friends here. Just that, that feeling of I've got to do better because people are watching me that, that care about me as opposed to I'm somewhere else where it doesn't matter. I can just go play. Yeah. It, it seems to have affected them, I feel, having watched them play this week. Yeah, that, and that could very well be the case. So uh, I am curious to see how this one plays out. I know they did play, uh, these two teams played each other um, in September, about nine months ago for our condensed as a result of COVID nationals mm. uh, and it was a very heated contest there was a fair amount of controversy and some tight calls so I'm sure they still have that matchup uh, fresh in their minds and uh, we do have line judges here of course being a potential we'll call it a final but very well could yeah. be considered a final um, so uh, looking forward to it all right Marjo on the right Juliet on the left serving Morissette on the right and Lambert on the left it starts with a skip from Juliette Parent. A long rally, rally number two, and two bounces called. Morissette seems to be playing in front, Lambert deep. That's yeah, the dynamic I've seen from them before, and, and Lambert takes, tends to take um, not quite what we saw with uh, Samuel Murray and his brother Tommy in the previous match here, but she does tend to take a lot of balls. But that's a, a great shot from Juliette Perrant on the left side. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us. This was our last match of the evening, so settle back and enjoy. Michelle Morissette with the power, and Lambert and Morissette will have no fear of the two sisters, given how well they've played this week. Lambert sticking with this Nick Lobb that she is so famous for, and you can see why. Wow, tough shot, Michelle Morissette. Uh, that's kind of been the par for the course for all week, is just playing well, playing steady, and that's what the right side player has to do, is they have to make the shots when they get the opportunities. Lambert wants wet ball, but she doesn't stop. You have to stop. Mm -hmm. If it's a wet ball, immediately stop. We have line judges, so appeals are available. And it doesn't matter because for all Lambert's gesticulations, very animated, very. the play continued. That was fun, we'll give her a hard time later.
Safety hold up replay. Five serving one. Uh, the sisters have lots of support here in Montreal. Marjo tends to be the support sister. Keep the ball alive. Mm -hmm. Don't don't do too much. Similar to Tommy Murray in the Murray brothers. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's I find a lot of good right side players. Obviously, they they need to make shots um, when they're given the opportunity. But a lot of it's just playing really steady, putting a lot of balls back into play, and making sure you're you're covering off on that right hand side. Look like a skip ball. <laughs> Marjo says, I couldn't see. This is one they could appeal, but elect not to. Parence supported by Reno Langlier. Excellent wide angle for Michelle Morissette. Both Lambert and Morissette have plenty of international experience. Morissette going to the World Games this summer in July. Yeah, and I heard that uh, in Bolivia, um, in mid-April there that uh, a lot of people that were down there said it was some of the best racquetball that she's played in her life and uh, said she's been putting a lot of work in off court and really dialing in her game so that's lead to what she's been so you know good this week is kind of carry over from her training for the Pan Americans there in April. That's a clean winner from Lambert. Lambert played on the Pro Tour was world number two for a season or two but uh, timeout on the court taken by the sisters. Lambert uh, essentially stepped away from the sport when she started going to medical school and then uh, became a doctor. However, she's still got skills as we can see. We'll be back in just a minute. It's currently Lambert and Morissette who lead. Racquetball Canada s'engage à atteindre l'excellence, que vous entraîniez des joueurs débutants ou des joueurs élites de niveau international. Nous travaillons en partenariat avec l'Association canadienne des entraîneurs pour offrir des possibilités de formation et de développement qui répondent à leurs besoins. La programme de formation des entraîneurs de Racquetball Canada est directement lié à notre cadre de développement à long terme et fournit à ceux-ci les connaissances et les compétences nécessaires pour aider tous les athlètes à développer leur potentiel. Pour plus d'informations sur la formation des entraîneurs et pour planifier votre parcours d'entraîneur, visitez racquetballcanada.ca ou contactez-nous directement. We're back, everybody. Tim Backhurst joining you with Mitch Braley and JTRB. We are just discussing during the, the break how successful Quebec are as a province. I mean, you've got three of the four in there from Quebec. Five, oh, no, excuse me, all four are from Quebec. No, they've been that. It's always been a very wow, a, amazing shot. Yeah, what can Julien Perron do about that? <laughs> Nothing. Just but. watch and applaud. But some very high-level coaches that have, you know, come out of Quebec, some high-level players, and it just seems like each generation builds on the next one here. So it's been, you know, decades of some phenomenal players out of Quebec, and, and this uh, is another full display of a, sort of a modern, uh, new era of players coming up. Yeah, the, the Murray brothers winning doubles earlier this evening. If you missed it, you should go back and watch it. It was a fantastic match. Uh, they're from Quebec as well, and it just seems uh, Les Québécois just dominate racquetball in Canada. Yeah. Sorry, Mitch, you know, <laughs> I know you're not from Quebec. Uh, we'll take Kane. But, uh, uh, is, is he Canadian still? Yeah. yeah I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Alburn. I'm just Alburn kidding. first, Canadian second. Kane is not a younger generation player. <laughs> Plays like one. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
Juliet taking control. Excellent rally. Oh my, Lambert ran across that shot. And Great with the hands. soft hands across the middle. 12 serving five right now. The sisters don't really have an answer. Thirteen serving five. Yeah, Morris said drives Z to that side has been the angle's been almost perfect the way it's cutting out parallel right to that back wall. There's no room to swing. Yep, great example again. Lambert. Backhand pinch winner. Just like she did it on tour. Serve return kill. Another point and first game goes to Lambert and Morissette. Very comfortably it has to be said, Mitch. Yeah, play, playing well. I mean, you could see a lot of, uh, you know, like we said, Lambert hasn't been on the pro tour regularly for a number of years, not just with school, but you know, he still has that skill set, the Muscle hands, memory. the control, the smarts. Uh, and Morissette, to her credit, she was serving really well. She was making the shot she had to, didn't make any unforced errors, and just a really steady, textbook doubles game from both players. Okay, we'll take a quick timeout and be back with you in just a minute. It's strike one for Lambert and Morissette. Si vous visionnez ceci, nous supposons que vous êtes déjà familier avec le concept d'une pratique sportive sécuritaire. Et c'est super! Nous voulons tous offrir un environnement sportif sécuritaire, sain et respectueux à nos participants et à nos acteurs du milieu. Sport sécuritaire est ancré dans l'ADN de Respect Group. Le mouvement a commencé en 1997, lorsque notre cofondateur, Sheldon Kennedy, a dénoncé les abus dont il a été victime. Soutenu par le leadership audacieux de Hockey Canada, dis-le, le premier programme, Sport sécuritaire, a été créé. Sous forme d'enseignement en classe et obligatoire pour chaque entraîneur de hockey canadien, il a été la base du mouvement sport sécuritaire. Respect Group porte ce flambeau depuis. Grâce à nos formations en ligne, nous sommes fiers de dire que plus d'un million de Canadiens sont certifiés Respect dans les organisations sportives et dans les organisations qui servent la jeunesse au niveau récréatif jusqu'au niveau national. Comment y sommes-nous arrivés? Il a fallu une réflexion de principe, un peu d'essais et d'erreurs et des leaders comme vous qui ont fait du sport sécuritaire et accueillant une priorité. Pour nous, il ne s'agit pas seulement d'une formalité et d'une tâche de plus à cocher sur une liste, mais d'une approche globale du changement de culture, fournissant à tous les acteurs du milieu de multiples outils pour créer un environnement sportif positif et les incitant à vouloir revenir chaque jour. C'est notre objectif. Here we go, game two, Morissette, Lambert. The two seeds winning the first game comfortably over the one seeds, Juliette and Marjo Pajal. But that's a good start for him, Juliette. JT trying to get the crowd animated. I think he needs Nice Sweet shot. shot. Yeah. JT needs some pom poms. Maybe a, a funny hat. <laughs> uh, he can't nope. hear me. <laughs> no. Nope. I packed some in my bag. I can bring in tomorrow for the final. <laughs> I bet you yeah, did. Yeah. Well, we look forward to seeing you dressed like that tomorrow, <laughs> Mitch. Finals tomorrow scheduled for 11 and 1. 11 a.m., 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Nice serve. 
out from Juliet. Crowd like it. Crowd like it. Encouraged by a few beverages or two. Yeah, yeah. late on a Friday night here. Well, that pinch is open for Juliet because Michelle Morissette isn't the fastest player in this tournament. And that pinch kicks out to the right side. I don't think she's going to get it. It doesn't even have to be brilliant, just good enough. No, I'm curious to see if she'll start switching that a little bit more and see a few more of those out of her as this match goes on. Excellent pickup from Marjo. But that's too good for Michelle Morissette. Flat. Knew Marjo was heading to the left, had to get out of the way. Ball went down the right. Two serving two. Another good Z serve. And a point. We mentioned him in, in <laughs> our our men's doubles match, but our samurai over to the left competing is now wearing an IRF shirt. <laughs> Fantastic. Truly international. <laughs> For those who can't see, he's, he is uh, wearing, um, a, it looks like a rising sun bandana, elbow guards, ankle braces. Hey, geared for war. He is, he is ready to go. It's awesome. Racquetballs for any age. Nice catch from Morris set off the back wall. Four serving three. Skip ball, Juliet, she cannot afford to do that. The responsibility on, is on her to win these rallies. Marjo is the retriever. That's better. That's excellent. So tough. That's Leading back. Excellent. Yeah. Lynn Bear told me, uh, she did commentary with me yesterday and, and told me off air that you know, she, she doesn't play much racquetball anymore. When mm. she stepped away from the tour, uh, she stepped away from racquetball as well and, and doesn't play much at all. Plays a lot of pickleball, the P word, uh, and, and told me that it's really helped her racquetball game because she's developed soft touch and better hands. Hmm, interesting. I, uh, I know I played quite a bit of pickleball myself last couple of years picked it up and I did find it helped for a lot of those upfront course shots uh, as much as people hate to say the P word but there's a lot of things you can take away from playing cross it. training yeah cross training exactly I tried to get a game with her this week she said she was a bit busy busy with what yeah <laughs> excellent shot eight serving three crowd is very quiet compared to the men's doubles where their team was winning. Mm. A little more tense. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, Frederic Lambert. Won't want to see a replay of that, but we'll do it just anyway. It's Fred, why not? She'll appreciate it. She won't put that on her, yeah. or on her Facebook feed. <laughs> She did put her behind the back winner from the other day on there, though. Skip ball for Morissette. One of the only ones I think she skipped. She's mm -hmm. been steady in this match. Well, she hasn't had to hit many balls. No. <laughs> Juliet, skip. With rally scoring, those skips are just crucial. Five serving nine, another point goes the way of Lambert Morissette. Good 
the pickup. Nice shot. Oh, yes, puts that one away. She needs more. Six serving nine. Didn't hit the front wall, Marjo. It kicked out. Just an unlucky bounce. Selection was good. Good things happen when you hit improper shot selection, good angle, good power. Marset. That's high. And a point, Marjo got caught on the right side. 10 serving six. Line judges haven't had any work to do so far, really. Nope. Kobe Awas on the right looks like he's starting to doze off a bit. <laughs> Hasn't been put to work yet. He's worn out from his doubles earlier. And yeah, absolutely. Thinking about his singles final tomorrow against Sam Murray. That should be spectacular. Those two, it was really, those two competing against themselves for a large part of that doubles match. No disrespect to Tommy Murray and Curtis Cullen, of course. Oh, definitely a preview of some of the quality rack we'll be seeing. Absolutely. Nice touch from Morissette's flat winner. Yeah. Speaking of quality racquetball, at uh, watching Morissette and Lambert tomorrow compete against each other with some of the shot making they've shown is going to be an exciting match as well. Well, and Lambert, this is the first time I've seen Lambert play where I thought somebody can beat Lambert. I've been coming in 2019, 2018. Uh, Lambert didn't come for one of those. We've got an appeal on the court. So call stands as good serve. And Juliette Perron wants uh, Rick Matson to stand up because you can't see, she said. Well, I think you can see fine. I think it's more of just a frustration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Venting a little. Wow, reverse pinch winner from Frederic Lambert. 15-5, 15-6. Looks like they're heading towards a gold medal. Pahos, they have a lot of work to do if they're gonna come back into this. Even elite athletes need support to reach their goals, to go further than those before, and to leave sport better for those after. Athletes Can represents members of Canada's senior national teams who compete at multi-sport and world championship events. Our mission is to speak with one powerful voice to advocate for an athlete-centered sports system where athlete rights are respected, athlete concerns are heard and acted upon, and where athletes influence key decisions made in Canada's sports system. We develop athlete leaders who influence sport policy and inspire a strong sport culture. We're a safe and inclusive place to share your perspectives and concerns on the issues you care about. And together, we initiate and sustain changes. We were the first organization founded by national team athletes for athletes. We've been global leaders in athlete representation ever since. Join Athletes Can. This is your home. Les filles commencent à jouer au racquetball à un jeune âge, mais au fur et à mesure qu'elles se développent en tant qu'athlètes, elles trouvent de moins en moins de filles pour s'entraîner et participer à des compétitions. Par conséquent, elles se retrouvent souvent dans des programmes qui ne répondent pas toujours à leurs besoins sociaux et physiques, ce qui leur donne le sentiment de ne pas vraiment être à leur place. En mettant des programmes spécifiquement destinés aux filles et aux femmes, nous pouvons les inciter à continuer à pratiquer le sport qu'elles aiment. Canadian Women and Sport et Racquetball Canada peuvent vous aider en vous proposant d'excellentes ressources. Changeons le jeu. We're back, everybody. Tim Baghurst, Mitch Braley, JTRB. If you haven't yet followed Daily Racquetball, JTRB, I mean, he is Mr. Racquetball. I think we need to call him that. 
Mr. Racquetball. I get behind that. Change, change your company name, JT. <laughs> that would be. That's a great name. Oh, he's um, nodding in approval. I mean, LPRT. We, we're going to do a, a shirt, JT. I mean, we, I'm the people. We've got Statman, my son. Now we've got Mr. Racquetball. I like it. What can I be? Well, the we local. have to think about yeah. it. You're, you're a part timer, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah. gotta Car earn your stripes. Hired gun, yeah. You're not hired. <laughs> <laughs> okay, local mercenary. <laughs> Excellent reach from Lambert. Should be a replay. No. No argument. I'd be asking for it. The one thing I was saying just before we finished that game is, is Lambert's looked a little fragile. Mm -hmm. And I've never seen that in her game before. I, I've watched her for years. She's confessed she doesn't train for racquetball like she used to. And Danielle Drury caused her some problems in that semifinal. I think we have a good young crop of players that are coming up and the ones that put in the time and that's really all it takes is you know, at some point regardless of talent. Well, that time Lambert missed it. The sisters win another 2-0. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Danielle Drury played well. In fact, every game got better and she wasn't able to take it to five but did get, did get it to four. Lambert looks a bit frustrated. Excellent response from Michelle Morissette. Morissette played very, very clean this morning against Juliette Parent, winning three straight fairly comfortably, it has to be said. No, well, and she's looked great here in the doubles. That Zed serves working well. She hasn't missed very many balls, even though she hasn't hit a ton of them. She's picking up a lot of, a lot of tough shots. Wet ball replay. Had a few of those in the men's doubles final. Nice shot, Juliette covered the middle. Mitch, you're gonna have to take a stand. You're either gonna say Z or Z. You can't. Have you I been between both? Of course, oh, yes. I don't even know. You're back and forth. Z, I'm gonna go with Z, Okay. Try Z. I'll hold you to it. Oh, swing and a miss, Michelle Morissette. Drives the lob Z. Actually, that, that, that makes work. the most sense. Looks like she's lining up for a drive, drive Z. There you go. Nice shot. But up in the encroachment area, just where Lambert wants to be. Nice and comfortable. Four serving two. Better start though from Juliette Parent on the left. Good re -kill. Five serving two. They've equaled their total in game one. Amateurs still all around us playing. Hoping for one of those big, chunky national championship medals. Great Michelle, shot. Yeah, Michelle Morissette wants one of those big, chunky medals at the Open Division. You're just upset one's not coming your way, Mitch. Uh, just they, face they it. They actually gave me one. Uh, Did you? A consolation? The, it was a consolation. I won't tell you the color. Commentary I won't tell you the medal? Color. It was, yeah, consolation. Consolation doubles. Participation. <laughs> oh, no. Thanks for coming. Those are, those are the worst. Yeah. Lambert switches sides. <laughs> 
After all that, it's a replay. Three serving five. Swing and a miss from Marjo in the middle of the court. She found that awkward enough height to kind of jam her up a little bit. Clean hits from Lambert. She wanted a third, but Morissette took it. And Marjot puts one down on the right Great side. We don't say right. that often, but we also don't say skip Marjot either. No, she really just hasn't had a lot of opportunities on setups on the right hand side. And Morissette, that's a big skip. Didn't bend her knees at all on that one, bent her back instead, put it into the floor. 7-4, a turnaround in game number three. Make that 7-5. Seven, seven, I find it ironic that Juliette complained about Rick Manson sitting down as a line judge. Over to our right, Kobe Owasa is our other line judge sitting down. Yeah. <laughs> she just didn't like Rick, no. Rick Matson's call. <laughs> It was the right call. We'll give him that. Eight serving five. Good angle. Oh, now we're starting to get a little run from Juliette and Marjo. Frederic Lambert has gone off the boil a little bit from these first two games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know that she was putting a lot of balls away those first two, and she's still putting pressure on, but she's just not quite putting that ball down enough and letting the Perron stay in these rallies. Might be over swinging a little bit. She's going for a lot. She's trying to go with power. Which is, you know, not playing a lot to be aggressive versus be too right. passive. I think she's found a good balance here uh, for the most part. And got jammed, jumped as Juliet hit it, landed, but the ball was already coming at her. And another point, a loose ceiling ball from Lambert. And a nice run of points from Perrant in the left side of the box with some different variation of lobs. Michelle Morissette, I think, hesitated because Marjo was right there, then took the swing, put it into the floor, and it's 11-5. Are we looking at a game four? I think if they keep this up, this serve down the middle seems to be working quite well. Nobody's attacking it. I think that skipped. I did too. Michelle has a feeling I called skip ball. Oh, skip ball, yes. So after all that, Curtis Cullen, uh, no doubt fatigued from his doubles final, <laughs> remember what he called. Uh, he called good. One line judge agreed, one disagreed. And Frederic Lambert says, oh, watch this and see if it skips. Yeah, that's Backhand a, pinch winner. Good, good, good time for that. They don't want to keep letting that run of points here, so let's see if they can get back into this third game or at least get some momentum for a fourth. See, that's where Frederic 
is playing a high-risk game, and it's working. She's aggressive. She called off Morissette, who was already set on that forehand. This goes back to trust and playing with your partner regularly. And Morissette's been playing great. She's been yeah. shooting well. But, but I think Frederic Lambert says enough of this nonsense. Mm -hmm. Three points in a row, 8-13. Is it too late for game four, though? Ooh! Replay? I'd appeal this. Let's take another look. What's your huh? call, JT? Oh, that looks cross court to me. I'm surprised they didn't. I didn't. I'm no. surprised they didn't appeal that. And they looked back at their coach Reno Langley too, and he told them no point in appealing. So wow. We have two appeals. You might as well use them, especially now that it's 13-9. I like the timeout. We're taking one ourselves. And we're back live. Tim Backers, Mitch Braley, JTRB, enjoying this women's doubles round robin, but important implications for gold medal. Morissette and Lambert, if they win this, they claim gold. If they lose it, I don't know. It's gonna come down to some math. Yeah, a little bit of, a little bit of algebra involved. We can let the tournament directors crunch the numbers and decide that. Oh, oh wow. my goodness. So that's, I'm trying to do the math, five points in a row, four of them I think won by Frederic Lambert. Yeah, all on just pure winners. She's starting to take over here. Doesn't want to go to a fourth game. But is it too little too late? Lambert, oh, dice on the back wall. And it brings up Game point for the sisters. Lambert did, didn't get that ball. It went through Morissette's legs. Thought Morissette was going to take it. All of a sudden, what a turnaround. It's, it was 15-5, 15-6, and reversal. 15-10 to the sisters. Yeah, I, but for you know Lambert Moore said, I think the positive they can take away from that is they were down in that third game, but did string together some points, got some momentum back. Lambert clearly playing some of the best ball of the match those last four or five points. So I think we'll see them bring that into the fourth game here. Well, let's see if it happens. We're back in just a minute.
And we're back, everybody, listening to the stories of the ancients giving us their wisdom. Yeah. Uh, over to the yeah. side and behind us. We're really having a good time here. Hope you're enjoying the coverage as well. Just a reminder, after this match, we're finished for the evening. Tomorrow, we'll be back at 11 for one final, 1 o'clock for the next final. Hope you stick with us for those as well. Set your clocks. Be sure to share the feed. Here we go. That's a nice pass from Morissette. Should mention those are the singles finals, by the way. I think that's the best return she's had on that drive Z the entire match as she cut it off, put it away. Shows a little bit of confidence. Yeah. Not hitting the front wall was Juliette Parent. It's a half out and a loss of point. One serving two. Excellent, excellent shot from Frederic Lambert. Inch perfect into the back left corner. It's a good, good Nick Lobb serve. She didn't have much room to swing on that. I think Lambert's like done, right? She's done with this. That really how it seemed towards the end of that third game here. Another nice shot. Four serving one. And Lambert definitely doing more work than Morissette. I, I don't think Fatigue's going to be a factor in their final tomorrow when they play each other, but, but uh, you know, considering Frederic doesn't play that much racquetball these days, you know, she may be a little slower to start tomorrow, a little bit sore. We'll see. Yeah, it could be something more so I could try and take advantage of, just having a little bit more court time, try and jump on her early. Well, that's uh, twice that Michelle Morissette skipped it with uh, Marjo Parent over on the right, just in her field of view. I think that's affecting Morissette's swing. Mm -hmm. Just enough to get into her head a little bit. Yeah. More presence is there. Swing and a miss from Juliette Parent. Again, maybe distracted by Frederic Lambert. I would have put my hand up and asked for uh, a screen. Might as well ask for it. Yep. You can peel it too. Spot winner from. Michelle Morissette, good shot, says Frederic Lambert. Six serving two. Nice shot. Seven serving two. Juliette says something that uh, the ball probably didn't want to hear. <laughs> the crowd found it funny. Yeah. Skip ball. And there, three serving seven. Excellent shot, Michelle Morissette, right side. No, skip ball was called, but then he said half down, which implies that yeah, I did see a skip as well. I did, but then he said half yeah, down. That's yeah. where I got confused. Two skips from Morissette, 5-7. Yeah. 
Great wow. job. Wow, Marshall Parent. Backhand rollout. 6-7. They've gotten back into it. Oh no. That was a gift. A good run from Arjo on the right side. El Playmore set for a few points there. Wow. <laughs> Those are things you just, it's just something that Frederic Lambert can do and do well. And you never teach it. You wouldn't tell a junior trying to play to no. 39 foot overhead. I have a replay. Juliet stares at the ref, then stares at the uh, her coach. Didn't see her face. <laughs> I like her passion, I really do. She wants it. Oh yeah, she does. Marjot. <laughs> she stops play, but then play continues. That's a great and shot. Juliet puts it down with a pinch winner. Little look from Lambert to Morissette, like, you should get that. Right, pinch over to the right side. Yeah, and it's been hit there a lot, right? So it's almost, you can almost creep up, you know, poach on that shot until she's, or force her to hit something different. That's a nice shot from Morissette. Rips the ball into the front left side, 10-7. Ball hits Marjo. She slaps it in disgust. A point for Lambert. I think, Mitch, if anyone wants to beat Lambert, they have to learn to return the Nick Lob. Yeah, and she's. Aggressively. Not back mm -hmm. off like this. Mm -hmm. Not go to the ceiling. Put pressure on Lambert. Well, we see how well she shoots off ceiling balls. And she hits the serve so well. Nice touch. Great hands. Michelle Morissette. Wasn't sure what she was trying to do, but flicked her racket down below her legs and below her knees and put the ball in. The front right corner. Timeout on the court. Timeout here. It's 12-7, game four. Inscrivez-vous à l'atelier d'entraîneur du programme Badge de Racquetball Canada afin de pouvoir lancer votre programme. Dans notre atelier de trois heures, vous apprendrez la théorie, le contenu et la façon de mettre en œuvre un programme amusant et excitant. Nous offrons cet atelier de formation à des entraîneurs de façon virtuelle afin de le rendre accessible et abordable. Une fois qu'un entraîneur aura suivi avec succès l'atelier sur le programme Badge, il aura accès à toutes les ressources en ligne et au matériel du programme, y compris les vidéos, les bulletins et le matériel de marketing, afin de pouvoir commencer immédiatement. And welcome back, everybody. It's game number four. It's Frédéric Lambert and Michel Morissette against Juliette Parent and Marjo Parent. It's 12 serving seven, three points away are Lambert and Morissette from what is essentially a gold medal match. Soft hands. Nice shot from Juliette Parent. 
Michelle Morissette went for the splat winner. Uh, low percentage from that deep with both your opponents in front of you. A wide angle would have been better. Mm -hmm. She paid the price. Bit of a hole to dig out up here, but we'll see if they can string together a couple of points. That's a smart, smart wide angle from Juliette Parent. 9-12. 9 12 Oui. <laughs> Almost picked it up. Too good for Morissette. Nine thirteen. Aggressive from Lambert. And a lucky bounce from Lambert. Well, there was one against her earlier, and now it's for her. She apologizes, sort of, because she'll take it. Doesn't it's mean it, yeah. Match point Morissette serving. Oh my goodness, what a way to finish. Frederic Lambert claims it with a beautiful soft forehand pinch touch. So it's Lambert and then Morissette who claim it 15 5, 15 6, 10 15. And I lost the last number, JT. Nine. 15 9, thank you. Uh, there we go, 15 9. Uh, you know, credit parents, they came back in game three, but Lambert especially said, you know, enough of this. I'm going to take over. And we'd say about 70% of the shots went, were, were Lambert's. Yeah, yeah. She played uh, played aggressively, definitely, especially from the backcourt. But she was making, uh, she didn't make a lot of mistakes, really. She didn't skip a lot of balls. No, but she didn't put a lot of balls down either. It no. was more of the unforced errors, I think, and just pushing balls around the court, forcing, you know, the, the sisters to, to run and chase balls that mm -hmm. created the errors. Yeah, just constant pressure. You know that she's always going to be shooting and you have to be on your toes at all times and used her angles well and, and her hands up front were still great like we saw in that final shot for the match. And then more set to, to her credit, like we saw with the Marie brothers, just played really steady on the right side. Had a few errors there, but um, not so much in a way that really affected the outcome of the match. She just played pretty solid, got the ball she needed to, and congrats to them. And I think maybe a little revenge from September when the sisters were able to, to, to win out. Uh, so a, a bit of payback. We got a bit of a rivalry that's good for, for the sport. It is. Oh, Mitch, thanks so much for joining me, of course. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow at 11 a.m. to our first final. We've got the singles finals tomorrow. We also have some third, fourth playoffs, which will be interesting as well, because which one goes home with third place is a big deal. Yeah, here at the Nationals. Uh, so on behalf of myself, Tim Baggers, JTRB, Mitch Braley, and everybody here as part of Racquetball Canada, thanks so much for watching and good night. We acknowledge the financial support of the Government of Canada. Nous reconnaissons l'appui financier du gouvernement du Canada.